To modern Americans, the way the people of old handled the Star Spangled Banner, signing it and trimming pieces to distribute as keepsakes, might appear odd or disrespectful, though such practices were common back then. Currently, the U.S. Flag Code, a comprehensive set of guidelines, dictates appropriate conduct regarding the American flag. However, these regulations and traditions only emerged in the late 19th century. Initiated by Civil War veterans, committed to preserving the sanctity of the national symbol, they defended early initiatives to regulate flag usage focused on preventing its use in commercial and political advertising. Although federal laws against flag desecration weren't enacted until the 1960s, by the early 20th century, most states had passed similar legislation. And in 1907, the U.S. Supreme Court supported a Nebraska law in a case involving a Stars and Stripes beer manufacturer. The campaign to protect the flag gained renewed vigor during World War I, and the inaugural National Flag Conference convened on June 14, 1923 in Washington, D.C. to formulate guidelines for civilian use of the flag. Enacted by Congress in 1942, the U.S. Flag Code, first issued in 1923, upholds the flag as a symbol of a living nation, considering the flag itself as a living entity. It forbids any disrespectful treatment of the flag. Although the U.S. Supreme Court invalidated flag protection statutes as free speech infringement in 1989, the flag code continues as a guideline of etiquette upheld by tradition rather than law. Well, that's it folks for now. Um, I'm excited to share more exciting information about flag etiquette and the history of the flag and U.S. flag code. So stay tuned until next time.